what's up everyone top 5 dude back on your screen now in this video we'll be taking a look at when men stop simping for women part 305 so starting off today we have a man who decided to get a paternity test on his daughter and it came back negative now he was ready to dump his cheating wife but it turned out she didn't actually cheat on him my husband got a paternity test on our daughter and it came back negative he accused me of cheating but the reality was so much worse. I don't know how it happened and I haven't been able to stop crying all day. I've never cheated in my life. I love my husband, we've been together since college and he's the love of my life. He's handsome and kind and while I've slept with two other people, both were before we got together. There is no other potential father for our daughter. We were married already and actively trying for a baby. I don't know why or how it came back negative, but it did, and now he thinks he's not her dad. It's like he'd become someone completely different from the man I married. He was cold, and was constantly suspicious of me. He kept demanding to see my phone, and wouldn't tell me why. At first I showed him without hesitation, but eventually told him I wouldn't anymore unless he explained why. He's been distant with our daughter too. He stays in his office for hours on end, and I don't know what he's doing. I did not cheat. He accused me this morning, saying he'd done the test after realizing that our daughter's brown eyes wouldn't naturally come from ours, which were blue. He told me to get out of the house. I remember being in my daughter's room crying, and feeling terrified. After letting my feelings cool down, I went to have a conversation with my husband. He was out of his room, and we started discussing things. Once again I tried to tell him that I would never cheat on him, but he wouldn't listen. He said that to ever consider staying in this relationship, I would have to get a list of tests done. He said if even a single one came back as negative, or in favor of me cheating, he would leave me. Just like that. For the following weeks, I was at the doctors constantly. I was determined to prove my innocence, so I went through with his plan. Well, the final test I got done, as a last ditch effort, was a paternity test for myself. I thought this was ridiculous, as I was the one who gave birth to her, but I did it anyway. Like I said, I was adamant on keeping my relationship. I got the test done, and they told me it would take a few days before they had the results. Those few days went by like a snail in honey. It was taking forever, and every day that passed seemed to be getting worse. Finally, the day came and we received the results in the mail. I opened the letter, and to my utter horror, it was negative. I was extremely confused, and when I showed it to my husband, he was even more confused. As it turns out, this baby not only didn't belong to my husband, but wasn't mine either. What does this mean? I asked my husband. He looked puzzled and had no clue. We took the results to our doctor, and he was shocked. He hadn't seen this ever in his career, but he had heard stories. Moving on, we have a man who got exposed for trying to meet with a 14-year-old. Now, he got confronted right in front of his wife and the proof made her dump him right on the spot. He, he knows, bro, you know. I know. You know what's going on. Yeah, that's me. Be honest with her. Yeah, it's me. That's okay, me. he tried to meet up today at noon with a 14-year-old. Uh, but the thing is, I tried to meet up, but I've been with my wife all day. He tried, he, he, correct. That's because, let me tell you why, though. Okay. So, the person you're referring to, I know exactly who it is. There's a... Uh, First, this lady's like, I go to work, blah, 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 I'm smoking a bomb. I'm like, okay, what? Is and then she tells me. I have the chat logs from start to see. finish. There I you go, start reading through I, I can show you too. Yeah, yeah, pull them out, pull them out. Let's we'll put them I together. I'm blocked on one of them. Okay. You tried to meet, you were at her house looking in her window at like 11 o'clock at night the other night. Remember that? The other night? The other night? Dude, you gotta be what honest, bro. What it's it's in here. I'll show you. Yeah, it's in here. I will show you. You, you told her to look out the window, remember? You said look out the window. because I thought something was going on. Like, that's okay, but you said you were going to... Well, did I ever meet this person? It doesn't matter. It's a felony. It's a, you can't have a sexual relationship online with a child, right? No, the child, though. Dude, she, she told you she was 13 you, or 14. You didn't want to get in trouble. She can read it. What app is this? Uh, there's several apps. He went on to several different ones. What app is it, bro? Be honest with your wife. What app is it? Uh, fuck you, tell me. Meet me. Meet me. And? I'm fucking done. And tax right, now? Give me, my fucking, oh. give me my keys. God damn it, give me my keys. Can we take I, me, I've seen enough. Give me my keys. No, man, it's fucking give me bullshit. my keys. No, I'm bro. done with you. I'm done with you. I didn't. Give me my fucking keys. How did I meet somebody if I'm with you? How was I That's thinking? why you didn't show up, bro. That's why you didn't show up. I'm not fucking stupid. Hey, hey, chill, dude. Keys. I'm chill. not fucking stupid. Hey. That's why. Chill out, bro. I'm not fucking Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Next up, we have a clip of former NBA player Joe Smith finding out his wife has an OnlyFans page. Now, his wife claims she's just doing it for herself, so there's no need for her to tell him about it. No man wants his wife to put herself out there on the internet like that. So yeah, if this was my wife, I definitely would have booted her ass. This is stupid, bro. I can't believe I'm sitting here just finding out you got an OnlyFans page. And all these years, you know, 
just the fact that it comes with it, that you couldn't even talk to me before you did it. That's bullshit, bro. That's fucked up, dude. I'm telling you, bro, that's fucked up. Wait. Wait, no, 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 Calm, but you're not gonna say fuck me or that's fucked up. It's not what fucked up. Me? What the fuck you doing? Listen, it's not fucked up and we're going to, up. okay, look, so I have an OnlyFans page and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course I'm mad I'm just finding but out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, so why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my, body, my fucking choice? I'm your partner, you're supposed to come to me and talk to Joe, me I've been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit. You're not giving me none, so I created one. That's no solution. Not in my book. That's no you solution. Knew, you knew who the fuck I was when you met me. Before. Before. Before, before, yeah, we before, met, yeah, I and knew I that. thought that I would never have to go Man, back to know, anything yeah, like I knew this that again, but unfortunately, but not, no, no, no. that's not the case right that, now. After that, after that, everything's supposed to change. I've lived alone for probably four years now. I work on my own. I haven't had a relationship for like two years. And um, I really miss... <laughs> I got hurt so bad by my last relationship. It's taken a real good two years for me just to just to heal up and just to get through it and i've learned so many lessons loneliness is a real problem i'm really lonely some days i see like a lot of aspirational stuff when it comes to relationships and people posting their weddings and proposals and the most grandeur you know, things of romance, petals everywhere, petals and flowers and gifts and diamonds and rings. And I'm just sat here and I'm just like, why does nobody want me? Why? Why am I not in a, why am I not in a relationship? Moving on, we have a woman who got exposed after her husband took her to court for a paternity test. Now, it turned out that he was not actually the father and the shocking thing is that she does not seem to care at all. While he's literally crying there, she just seems careless. Mr. Benning, you are not the father. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Benning. I got cribs and playpens and toys, and I've done everything that I do. And... Miss Bodine, do you know who Jermaine Jr.'s father is? No, Your Honor. I didn't know that was going to come out like that. Well, you may not have known, but well, if it's not Mr. Benning, and it's not, do you know, keep track Moving on, we have a guy who decided to cheat on his girlfriend, and his girlfriend decided to get revenge on him. He made him eat and sleep outside on the balcony in the cold. Now, if this is his only punishment he gets for cheating, then I bet this guy has cheated many, many times. The, the outlet work out here too. I'm gonna put that on your lap. See, bro, you got bugs crawling. What the fuck? Oh, you scared of some little bugs? I don't even want this. What you telling me you don't want it? I don't even want this shit. Like, for real. See, this what the f ungrateful nigga. You about to drop the food. I don't even want You the one fucked up. That's why you out here. I ain't even do nothing. You treat me like this, bro. Like, I just, I can't do this, bro. Well, you ready to tell the truth, then I'll let you back in here. How about that? Tell the truth about what? To finish off today's video, we have a man who admitted to cheating on his woman over 50 times. Now, this woman is honestly just stupid for staying with this guy for so long. I mean, she should have just broken up with him a long time ago. Your wife is saying you cheated on her with over 50 women? Maybe 75, but... <gasps> okay, so you admit you cheated on your wife with 75 women? It's not like cheating costs me money. So. It is when you're buying them spray tans and jewelry and stuff. 
Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, back up. Let me get this straight. You admit that you cheated on your wife with 75 women? This is between when we first got together when I was 19 and she was 20, first of all. I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around 75 women. <laughs> you cheated on your wife with 75 women? In a, in a course of 14 years. So oh, like okay, so a few every year. Uh, uh, okay. All right, this was it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, I'm out. Peace.